G'day, welcome to another curriculum burst. This time let's do a great counting problem from the grade 10 level. Uh, it goes as follows. A set A has 20 elements and a set B has 15 elements. What is the smallest possible number of elements in the union of A and B? Now, let me just point out one thing. Set theory is not really discussed in the high school curriculum, but it is talked about a bit in the early part of the curriculum. But this is really a counting problem and it actually is relevant for high school work. All right, so let's go. Here's the question again. Two sets, A and B. So let me just draw a standard Venn diagram. Most people are probably thinking to do this in any case. A and B, two sets. And we're told that set A has 20 elements. I'm going to be really careful. It has two parts. You've got like the, set, the points that are solely in A, but not in B, and the intersection. So I say there's A elements in here and B elements in here, say. I'm told that everything in A, A plus B, adds up to a total count of 20 items. And set B has 15 elements. So here's set B. Things that are in common, plus some stuff that aren't, isn't in common. So and I'm told that B plus C, the set B has 15 elements. And what's the question again? Uh, what's the smallest possible number of elements in the union? So the union is going to be all three parts. So the size of the union is going to be A plus B plus C. Uh, maybe one trick is that um, some people might double count the sets in the intersection, elements in the intersection. Now I've got this sorted out here. All right, so that's the setup of the question. I've drawn a picture, which in and of itself is a problem-solving strategy. But what I'm going to note here is the question asks for the smallest possible uh, number of elements in this union, which makes me think of strategy number 10, which is go to extremes. We want to go to the extreme of the smallest in this case. So let's look at this union and see what is the smallest possible value it could take. It's A plus B plus C. Well, I'm also just writing down A plus B being 20. I might as well call this 20 plus C. Remember, I'm trying to find the smallest. C, C, don't know anything about C. Well, I do. Here's a little formula for C. I guess it's, uh, what, 15 minus B? So my question is, could C be an extreme value? What's the smallest extreme value it could be? That is, could C be 0? Or equivalently, could B be at its extreme value, 15? So that's worth thinking about in and of itself. Could C or B be at their extreme values? In which case, we might have an answer to this question. So think about it. What would the diagram look like, if one's even possible, for C being 0, or equivalently B being 15? Play with it, and then have a look at the essay that goes with this video. Thanks. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.